Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Dalmo bidet attachment, non-electric. I'll be talking about some pro tips on how to set it up, some things that they don't mention in the instruction manual, which is pretty light to be honest, and what I think about it. So just to start off, I think it's a really nice device. It's really easy to set up. It takes like maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Um, you don't need too much equipment or supplies, just a wrench, screwdriver, and everything else is already in the box. So you'll be good to go. Um, what I really like about bidets, by the way, is that they're very eco-friendly. I mean, it is a plastic product, plastic and metal product that you need to buy. But once you've bought it once, you're pretty much good to go. You'll be saving so much toilet paper. You'll save money. Um, so it is a lot of water and pit trees that need to go into toilet paper. So it'll be a really good benefit. And you'll also not have to worry about toilet paper shortages. So let's take a look. Okay, so we took the lid off. We put the, the bidet device inside and then I'm putting the lid back on. Screwing it back on here is pretty easy. Um, but you just take the, you just pop the cap off. At least some of your toilets will have a little cap here for stylistic purposes. Take the lid off, so that's these two layers. Um, then put the bidet underneath, you'll see. It's underneath here. Then put the seat and the cap back on, and then you screw it back down. If you're having trouble screwing it and you're noticing it just free spinning, there is a piece that's on the bottom that attaches to the bottom of the screw, so you wanna hold on to that while you're screwing and then you'll just attach both sides. Then you just put the lids back on, pop them back in, push them forward, and then put it down, nice. So that's that. And then over here, we've already shut down the water, twisted it to the right, so that will kind of help prevent water from spraying out here. We've already flushed the toilet to get rid of most of the extra water as well. And now we're gonna start placing the pipes in. So there may be some water that comes out. You may wanna put a towel or a bucket underneath because water may come out of here, FYI. So you wanna put some a bucket or a towel underneath this toilet. Here, this bigger section will plug into the toilet this thin one will connect here into the bidet, and then this bottom one will go connect back to the pipe connected to the wall. Okay, so here we're just gonna try to adjust our bucket to catch some of that extra water that'll come down. The rest you can mop up with the toilet. It may be a little awkward of an angle to unscrew, so it can be hard. Okay, so we've got our bucket here. And just gonna try to unscrew with as little water leaking out as possible. too bad there wasn't much water here and then now we will put the t-shaped into into the top but we're gonna put some tape plumber's tape onto that piece right there okay so it was a little tight of a fit so we actually took out our toilet paper roll to make a little more space and I couldn't record all of it because it was a little too crowded back here. But what happened was this was already connected to the toilet. We put in the little T piece, so that was here. We put painter's tape on here to prevent leaks. Painter's tape, I mean plumber's tape on here, here to prevent leaks, as well as we did this earlier. 
the beginning of the video, some plumber's tape as well. You may want to hand tighten all these first and maybe just a little bit of last tightening with a wrench just so you don't over tighten it and damage any of the components. But this is it. So now it's all done. Um, and then you turn the water back on here, twist it to the left so you can turn water back on to your toilet. Okay, so just to show you some of the ways that this actually works. So we've got our bidet here. To do cleaning, I would recommend probably cleaning it first before you use it, just in case there's anything in there you don't want it spraying out. Just turn it on a really light pressure. And so here it's cleaning the device with some of the water that came out. And I think it's better to do that just to make sure you're not spraying your body with any maybe dust or whatever was already in that pipe. So now that I've got it clean, I'm gonna turn it back off. And then when you want to actually use it, I just use it on the regular female cleaning mode. Um, and then I just turn it on. If you turn it on here, I'd recommend starting very small because it's actually got really strong pressure. So I'd probably just turn it just a tiny bit and you'll already find it's gonna be strong enough. And then it'll come down and spray out. So that's pretty much it. There's the cleaning nozzle, female cleaning, and then the bidet. But really, I think this is probably the best mode and use it on a really, really light setting so you won't be as shocked. It's also, the water is very cold because this is not electric. It just uses the water pressure that's already here. So heads up, start light, and it'll be a very refreshing, cool spray. Just to give a recap, it has been two months since we installed this bidet. One of the things you could do is if you're not finding it the most comfortable um, position, you can always shift your bidet plastic piece forwards or back to have the best fit for you. Um, yep, so after we did, we put the toilet roll paper back on and it's been good. So far, so good. No issues with this bidet at all. We put everything back. We've got our toilet bowl cleaner and I've been really happy with it. I definitely recommend if anyone wants to check it out. It was a super easy installation. Could probably take you maybe half an hour at most. Um, no leaks or anything. Everything's been good. Um, it is cold, but it is a little bit refreshing. So, um, you know, if you have got the money to purchase a heated one, that's great. But so far, this cold basic version has already been good enough for us. Uh, since then, I've found I've been using the bidet wash a little bit more than the female cleaning mode. Um, but otherwise, it's been good. Definitely start slow on your water pressure. And then it, I think even the this is enough. You, I don't know what you'd be doing with that because that would be pretty painful, I would think, unless you're using it to maybe like pressure clean something and you want a little bit harder of a spray, but it would probably spray everywhere. So um, yeah, this is the review of the Damo bidet. And I've been really happy with it. Check it out. Um, if you've got any questions, please drop it in the comments and hope to hear from you all soon. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Take care.